Hi guys, in this video, I will show you how to upload an ebook product to your store in 5 minutes or less. To do this, what you want to do is to either use this add product option on the screen or go to the hamburger icon, go to your left and click on products and then add products. The first thing you want to do is to upload your product image and then go ahead to name your product and I'll just call this and then go ahead to put your price if you set it up in your store to manually add the price in other currencies you will see them all here so for my case i've set it up in my store to be able to add the price in naira and us dollars manually so if you don't know how to do this check out the video where i talk extensively on how to set up your store if you would like to show a price slash on your products go ahead to select the option that says show strike out original price from here you can put in the original price and after creating your product it will show underneath the price you set for the product but striked out we usually recommend this if you are doing a percentage of or on a discount sale so in case of this video i will just uncheck this now what you want to do is to go ahead to fill out your product description and you can be really creative with this section Right here, you can actually set um, a heading. Then you can select smaller headings depending on your preferences. You can also change the color of the text by highlighting the text and changing the color. You can do a lot of things here. You can make it bold. You can make it um, italic. You can just do a lot of things. And also, you can embed a video to your description. So what you want to do is to come to the video option here and come here to paste the video URL, preferably from YouTube. Paste the URL, save that, and the video will appear here. So you can play around with all of these options and see what you come up with. Since we are uploading an ebook, right, you want to leave the prototype option to be selected as digital products. And then go ahead to the categories, right, select books. Now, there are two ways you can let your customer access your books on seller. First is to allow your customers to download a file to their device. And then the second option is to allow them read online only. So if you don't want your customers to be able to download the ebook to their device, select the read online only option so that they can only read the book at any time they want to, but they cannot download it. Please note that for read online only, your ebook can only be 10 MB large. And the reason we limit this to 10 MB is because for your customers to read it online every time, they will have to load the book every time. So if it's 10 MB in size, they will spend 10 MB loading the book each time they want to read it online. So if your ebook is as large as 100 MB, that means your customer will have to spend 100 MB each time they want to read the book. And that's a lot for most typical users. So that's why we limit the read online only size to 10 MB. However, for the downloadable file, it can be as large as 750 MB because they only get to download the book once. Also, if you're selling an ebook bundle, like let's say a two in one ebook, the way you can give your customer access is to create a zip file containing both ebooks and upload it right here so you select the downloadable option create a zip file containing the bundled books maybe two three or more books right create the zip file and then come here to upload your products that's upload the file or the ebook right here all right so once you upload your ebook you're ready to actually create a product please note if you want your customers to be able to access the file you've uploaded here on Seller, please do not add a redirect URL. Otherwise, they will be unable to download it after paying, but will be redirected to the external URL instead, right? So when you check this option that says automatically redirect the buyer to an external URL after a purchase, right? You are sending your customers away from the thank you page and they will not be able to download the ebook that you've uploaded to sell. So you want to make sure that this option is not checked when creating your product. So you can just keep this last step.
If you would like to sell your ebook on pre-order, you can also set that up on seller. I've created a video where I talk about it extensively, so you can go check that out. Now, once your product is all set up, the next thing you want to do is to click on create product. And then your product has been created and a link will be automatically generated for you. And you can find the link right here at the top. That's one. You can just go ahead to copy this link right here and share it to your social media handles. Use it in your ads or share it with your customers or anywhere you think you want to promote your ebook. So this is how to upload an ebook product to seller. So go ahead and upload your book and start selling.